Ladies and gentlemen, Violent Games here. Today, I wanted to do a review of the Satisfy Pro Gaming Grip Elite Bundle. I'm going to be covering everything in this package, but before I get into any details about anything within the package, I want to do a TLDR review for those of you who aren't really interested in the details but want to know if this is something worth buying. So, the TLDR review verdict is that, yes, this is one of the greatest Nintendo Switch accessories that you can possibly get. I recommend the full pack package because you're going to want everything inside of it however i only recommend this product from uh for people who have larger hands who found that the switch's default um handheld mode was uncomfortable in any way so if you felt like the buttons were too cramped that it was hard for you to press them if you hate that you have to move your hands and do a 90 degree angle basically to hold the nintendo switch this product is 100 percent for you I recommend it now that I've gotten out of the way I'm gonna go over each piece in this bundle and explain why I think this bundle is probably the best accessory you can get for the Nintendo switch now first off let's talk about the grip now the grips definitely the most important part of the package because the reason you're getting this in the first place is to improve the handheld mode of the switch let's be honest a lot of us bought the switch because it's a portable AAA gaming console on the go it is probably the biggest appeal is to play it on a tiny screen and, and certain games definitely translate better on a handheld it's just factual I've never enjoyed Skyrim as much as I have on my Nintendo switch Switch because I think the little motion controls they added in along with the fact that it's a, on a mobile tablet with console controls is very awesome and I really really enjoy that however playing for prolonged sessions on the default Nintendo Switch platform just felt uncomfortable your fingers often have to support the weight of the console because of the way the ergonomics are set up and the grip itself is just fantastic so first off, the material feels premium. When you when you pick this product up, it feels like a premium piece of tech. Like it's very simple but also amazing at the same time. Everything feels really really unique. And the way that the grip is actually laid out is unique to any other grip on the market right now in that the right side of it actually extends a little bit to actually space your hand out from the right Joy-Con so that your fingers can more naturally go to the buttons like you would on an xbox or playstation 4 controller it just lays everything out so much better and it also improves the angle that your wrists are on so the ergonomics of the grip are absolutely outstanding with improved ergonomic angles, you have a more natural resting stance with your switch. Instead of your wrists being kind of put inward, it puts your um, arms in a natural resting position, which is so much more comfortable and allows you to use the handheld mode extensively. So overall, it dramatically improves the feel of the handheld mode. And it even has some safety features for the tabletop mode. Um, the tabletop mode actually has a better angle now. It's um, a straight top-down view instead of the angled one that you had with the default kickstand. But one thing it also does is it lifts your switch about an inch off the ground. This means if you're using tabletop mode and someone like in a public space spills a drink on your table, you're not likely to get your switch fried because your switch is sitting about an inch above the ground, preventing any of the ports from being compromised. So it's actually safer. Also, the little um, hatchback that you use as a kickstand for the default tabletop mode also leaves the SD card exposed should you have one. So overall, like the grip itself, it just feels fantastic. The only gripe I can have about the um, Satisfy Pro Gaming grip is that it is a little hefty. And at first, it kind of takes a while for your hands to adjust to it. I actually have diabetes and with that rain odds, yeah fun stuff but i found that my hands kind of cramped up at first when i was getting used to this grip because it does add some weight to the switch itself or at least makes the switch feel significantly heavier but once i adjusted to the grip it's just far superior than the regular um mode of the switch dramatically improves the handheld mode it literally reinvigorated my passion for the switch like i had put the switch down almost completely 
until I got this grip. And then I was like getting a bunch of games for it. I was playing more of the games that I had. So I got like Octopath, Dark Souls, and I just got Okami for the Black Friday sale. Like I am loving my Nintendo Switch. And it's one of the reasons I haven't been posting as much content as of late. So yes, the grip itself is just fantastic. But let's get into everything else is what I wanted to say before my capture card completely died. I don't, I, I honestly don't even know. But let's get into everything else <laughs> okay so before i do move on though i want to say the grip again is not really for small hands it just doesn't i don't think it's going to work because of the way it pushes your right hand out on that right side it really does look like it's exclusive to people with larger hands like i would say average man hands on up is what you kind of want to look for when you're you know going for this grip and if you have smaller hands i recommend checking out the default grips that they sell at gamestop as well as the skull and co grip that i saw online that one looks like it might be the best one for like really small hands i would recommend that one so moving on let's go into some of the accessories that are in this bundle the case in my honest opinion is like damn near flawless there's a few things i can gripe about but like it's everything just feels good the case feels nice and sturdy it has so many compartments on compartments it's got two different like little shelves for your like little chip games it has everything you could want and it has compartments that you wouldn't expect like it looks like you can even fit a battery pack you know like the battery packs that they sell to recharge the switch into one of these compartments easily so it carries everything you would want it also lets you put the switch in there with the grip attached which is so seamless it's how you would want to play your switch it's how you would want to have access to your accessories i have nothing to complain about as far as the case goes the only problem that i have with the case's design is how the bottom velcro strap tends to pull on the lip a little bit of the bottom of the case i feel like in time that's going to wear down it'll be the first thing that wears down but that's really the only complaint i have the outer shell of the case is nice and sturdy i have dropped it safely there are the velcro straps do hold the switch perfectly in place and the rubberized backing of the grip itself is also kind of a drop safe feature as well so like overall you're getting a sturdier frame for your switch and the case is just exceptional for travel and it even feels premium again the texturized um, nature of the case so that it's not glossy so that you don't drop it is amazing the way the zippers feel like they're made with quality material and they have the nice rubber at the end so that you can pull them easily is amazing like even the logo looks like it's a really cool switch accessory so i can't go on enough about the case there's really nothing to complain about so let's move into the minor accessories of the satisfy pro gaming grip elite bundle gosh that's a mouthful <laughs> it's a lot to say at once let's move into the worst part of the kit in my opinion which is the thumb pads and the thumb pads, when you first put them on, feel amazing. If you don't know what they are, they're just little pieces of rubber that you're supposed to put over your Joy-Con analog sticks to give them a bit of a lift and a better ergonomic feel. And they do have both of those. The lift is definitely noticeable. It feels really nice, even though it's like maybe a centimeter or something, like even ridiculous. They have to be really small so that you can reach the buttons is kind of the problem with the analog sticks on the Joy-Cons. So they feel good when you put them on. However, the problem with them is they actually prevent the Nintendo Switch joystick from actually reaching the end of their controller. They slightly push out a little bit, like a very small amount. And I didn't notice it, honestly, until I was playing Skyrim on my Switch when I was trying to make my character do a casual jog through town. I noticed that at random intervals, she would just kind of stop and then go full speed again, stop and go full speed again. And usually that means that your controller's fucked up. And I thought that was the case. I thought the analog stick was just wore in from me playing it or something. But it turns out once I removed the, fa uh, the Satisfy thumb pad from the left side, she ran at full speed again. And I did test it on both sticks. And yes, they both create physical dead zones. However, on the right stick, I don't mind it as much. And I actually like the Satisfy thumb pad on the right stick. This is kind of the exception to the rule. It's definitely a personal thing. But I find the dead zones that it creates on the right side don't impede the game because you can adjust the sensitivity accordingly. And I actually found that it was more comfortable to use than the Control Freak that I was using originally because 
the radius of the thumb pad is actually less than the radius on the control freak the problem with the radius on the control freak on the right side is that if you have big thumbs it kind of makes it harder to press the b button with this satisfy little gaming pad it actually doesn't because the radius is smaller so that is something i actually like about the thumb pad i actually like to keep one on my right side and then i'll keep a control freak on the left joy con so that's how i run it these days so it's kind of a compromise it's it's the worst part of the um the package but it still has a use which i think is kind of nice so finally we have the last but not least the charging cable the charging cable has nice ergonomics to it in that you could actually charge it during tabletop mode. However, everything about this charging cable is immediately diminished by how short the thing is. The thing is pitifully short. You probably won't be using this during tabletop mode anyway, so the ergonomic advantage is negligible. But it's nice that they at least included one because if you're taking your console on the go, you won't want to have to keep ripping out your Switch's um, stock charger if you don't have another cable with you. So it's nice that they threw one in there. It's nice to have around and it's good to have a cable that you know isn't going to fry your switch. So I really think there's value in that. So I have multiple charge points set up for my console and it's nice because it's a, you know, it's a tablet. It's a nice to have more charging cables. So really guys, all in all, my verdict is that this is probably the best accessory bundle you're going to get for your switch period if you have big hands and you're struggling with the handheld mode if you're not good good for you but i think that the ergonomics are just so superior and there's so many things to love in this bundle that it's worth every penny i only paid 60 dollars for all of this i would have easily have paid more but thankfully they're not price gouging here they're just trying to get their own project off the ground and the ergonomics are unparalleled no other grip provides the same ergonomics period so i recommend picking this up especially if you fell out of love with the switch's handheld mode and want to fall in love with the switch again this is violent games signing off i hope you learned some things and yeah happy gaming i can't wait to get back on my switch oh my gosh i'm so freaking addicted right now it's unhealthy. There's nothing healthy about this.